Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough. Only one more primary mission to do here. Heading to the old hangar. And we have like two more scavengers, I think they're called. Scavengers, one out of three. We have two more scavengers to find or groups of nomads or scavengers whatever but before doing that i'm just checking out an area of the map that i don't think i check out that thoroughly yet and also what i noticed relics and components they can be really literally everywhere by the way i find it really weird that there did not appear to be anything around this little structure. Really has quite some nooks and crannies where something could have been hidden. I think I checked out those structures over there already a couple of episodes ago. So let's just leave those. But what I'm now wanting to check out is over here. I think this is a bit of a dark area of the map still. This part. It's not that dark. But for the rest, this I really explored thoroughly. This one I did. Once I have defogged this. It's almost pretty much defogged already. Then let's head to the rocket hangar. And doing the final mission. Which I do know... It was not really cheating, but I was just looking at some gameplay footage of Seraphim 17. He's pretty good at gears, really good even. And I already, I think I saw that final battle that will ensue in the hangar. Doesn't look that difficult. It's on a turret taking out regular drones. Woohoo! Woohoo! One more. Woohoo! And then, um, in a pretty confined space. Did I already check it out over here? I don't remember. I think I did. But in a pretty confined space, a warden pops up. So that will be the... Um, yeah, I think I did check it out already here. That will be the... Um, the challenge fight. Of the hangar that we are now approaching. I'm just... Checking out for omens over here. Just to be a bit thorough. I've noticed something, but the swarm seem different. Smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor too. Haddock warned us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Kadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to? To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. All right. I think I already pretty thoroughly Matthew, checked it out ahead. over here. Mark the skip as close as you can. I think it's kind of heavy. Just double checking because we're almost done with this whole area.
already opened that loot box over there. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done. Let's get to the hangar and get it over with. And then afterwards we still have... An Act 4, but I do think that Act 4 is way shorter than at least Act 2, which was pretty big. And Act 3 itself is also pretty big, of course, depending on how much time you allow yourself to skiff around. And I took quite some time skiffing around. Checking for stuff. Almost a bit addictive. But I'm now pretty much done. Let's go to the hangar. And let's do it with a stylish jump. Woohoo! And another one. Yeehaw! And why not another one? Woohoo! And if we're doing stuff anyways, let's do another one. Small one. Ah, no jump. God damn it. Already checked out these structures, right? Yeah, I think I did. I think Metro Exodus looks better with ray tracing and also this is actually also on the PC, but still the graphics it doesn't look that much better because the graphics in Metro Exodus are actually pretty fuzzy in my book, the textures. But it's it's like a pretty similar environment, also like this deserted post-apocalyptic desert world. But up until now, I have... a more enjoyable time here in the Gears universe than Metro Exodus. Despite it both being shooters in a similar world. Of course, it are totally different games. Metro Exodus is more gritty. Woohoo! But yeah, I just apparently really was time for another Gears of War fix since the last one. And here we are, here's the flag. Indicating and so we meet again. the entrance. Pretty big building. Just quickly checking ar um, around it because it could be that there are components hidden near the entrance. Saw it happen before. For instance, over there. Nope. A dog tag, this is what I mean. UAR tech fallen loyalist. Translated to Tyron Esther M. Navood, Sergeant 946HG294, Barifus Ostri, blood awash in scent of reds, a waning trace of honor that warriors of peace for which has dawned. A deep embrace from the beyond. Warriors of peace for which has dawned. Of peace for which has dawned. Warriors of peace for which has dawned a deep embrace from the beyond. Unknown. Poor dudes. Or dudettes. Alright, checkpoints. Let's check the time. 
still 20 minutes left so let's strut on through holy shit i hear something it seems to come from over here but there's nothing there right let's see if we can upgrade jack a bit more upgrade it upgrade it it's all pretty much upgraded self revive yeah i don't really use that pulse that this one is i think actually i never use it also detects ammo and weapon i mean that's already pretty clear enough where ammos and weapons are flash upgraded it's all upgraded so i could maybe do jack's own stealth abilities but i don't really see a purpose for it he's pretty he doesn't get hit that much self revive same applies he doesn't get hit that much so i will leave that one for now unlocked and then core system yeah that's like executions will recharge him faster but i hardly do any executions so we'll keep that one locked as well so i have 21 points for now and we, after this uh episode i think we will get a new upgrade being a shield and I will just save my punch points for that shield so that I can immediately upgrade it fully. Ah, there they are. Probably I can use some stealth here. So, are we handling this? Alright, it's quite a lot of them. I could at least try to take out these first dudes. The other ones are looking away. Also check out if there's anything of goodies. All right, if they're looking away, I will try to take this dude. Oh, that didn't work. I would say do it stealthily. What the ah shit. <laughs> I thought I had my stealth equipped, but it was Tim. Such an idiot. Let's just immediately do it also a bit quicker, a bit more aggressive. Right, one more, one more. Come on, guys. Holy shit, nope. I thought I would do like a cover behind that black piece of stuff. Crystallized sand or whatever it is. But actually... See, um, jumped over or jumped to the side, rolled to the side. All right, but that was easy enough. Now the next ones. I see one, two, three at least. Trying to get there. I need to be closer by. There's also one over there or not? Nope, that's just a turret. I must say the upgrade that extends the duration of stealth by killing 
didn't really seem to work consistently. That might have been me. Maybe it only... Maybe it sums up all the kills and then only adds an additional amount of stealth time once the default time runs out. Because I did saw it extend at one point, but it doesn't extend at each kill. Or at least it didn't seem to. Alright, can I get some... Can I get over there? And get some... Thingies going. No, you know what? I will do it differently. Let's just... Have them fix their own problem. Check it out. They're actually shooting turrets at each other. Damn it. Right, let's use some stim. Appreciate it, Jack. Ah, you're kidding me. Was stim that short? God damn it. Alright, I'm pretty much screwing this up. Sorry for that. But here we go. Nope, this is not what I want. God damn it. Sorry. Why didn't... Why do they suddenly see me now? And not earlier. They're on us. Take them out. All right, I have to be a bit more uh, delicate. Shit. Here. Because I do want to take these first guys out unseen. Which is a bit harder than it looks like. First time around it went pretty effective. Ah, so let's just indeed wait for that third guy to go. Fourth guy to go. Again, using stim instead of <laughs> stealth. I'm such an idiot. All right, I really don't like this kind of stuff that you have to wait all the time for a certain sequence to play out. All right, one walks away. Right? Yes. And here we go. Ooh. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna do it differently. Let's do it like the first time. First take out that dude over here. Alright, as soon as they... 
Look the other way. One is. And the other one is as well. No! He's just a bit too far away. I'm going to just be patient. Sorry, guys. I'm waiting for it to recharge. And then I'm taking him out. And then let's use some hijack. And let them thin out their own herd. And I won't be as stupid as the last time sticking my head out for too long and getting headshotted. I was almost through it already. But... It is what it is. You know what? Screw it. Oh my god. He just turned around. Alright, sorry. This is not a fun episode to watch. I'm fully aware. Anybody is watching, my apologies. I should have taken that guy out that was standing there immediately. It can be done if I'm quicker, I'm pretty sure. Right, as soon as they turn around, I can maybe even get this guy without using stealth already. This is what I mean. Woo! Alright. Ah, somehow they are on us. Annoying. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wasn't even out there for it only grazed me the bullets and it's enough to kill you. So, how we it's really, really, really annoying. Why did they get alerted? Why? Oh my god. Oh man, how stuff like this looks pretty straightforward. How this can quickly become a matter of frustration management. I won't let it spoil my good mood and the progress I made, but I'm at risk here. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? I will just I will just continue. We're down! We got there with our turrets! Why can't I freaking use hijack? Ah, uh, I'm too far away probably. Alright, screw this shit. Dell really Mess this up for me. Thanks, Del. Maybe just stay on your post next time. Why would he start start attacking somehow? And again, don't do it, Del. Don't. Just don't. Right, 
One down. Two down. And I still don't see it like extending. Alright, we are where we need to be. Del, don't screw it up. Oh my god. Why, Del, what the hell? What the holy hell? Alright, I'm waiting for Stim because it's just too uh, dangerous. Else. They're too lethal over here. I'm not taking that chance anymore. I've been doing this for 10 times now. Almost there. That works. Appreciate it, Jack. Why can't I use my freaking Jack, ability? Oh. Of course, I'm um, fine. Finally. God damn it. Alright, take him out. Good work, dude. Where is he shooting? Ah, there's another gunner over there. what to do now we have two drones I'm not sure whether I will be visible when using stealth but I'm gonna try it all right let's just take a chance Finally, god damn it. Alright, I don't even know what went wrong over here, but this was pretty um, close over here. Like, with failing again for like the 20th time. Let's quickly check it out. These dudes, I must admit, were pretty damn lethal. The lucky thing is, when they throw smoke grenades, I was like... Alright. Then they will probably rush you and melee you, but they don't. So then it actually also like... Provides cover. It's actually beneficial to have smoke thrown at you. I really dig the uh, the action-packed musical score in this game. But I didn't really like Del over here doing his own thing, messing up my stealth approach. Oops. Hitting the timer. 
let's get quickly inside to the next checkpoint. Oh shit! More of them coming no from the main way. building! No way! Robert, keep it back! Let them out, big! Spin those turrets around! Now we're talking! Nice. That's it. They're done. Good All right, work. that went better than I expected it. And a checkpoint. Let me know when you need translations. Because you will. I speak five languages. Okay. Taking this one. And I will see you in the next episode, guys. Immediately afterwards. Um, hitting the 30 minute marker already exceeded it. If you liked it, please leave a like, a share, or maybe even a subscribe. And hope to see you in the next one. For the meantime, do keep on gaming. See you later.